Lakers still playing for their playoff lives. Dalton in trouble back there. Throws it up for grabs, and it's picked. Intercepted by McKinney. Pressure again by Leonard Williams, and the Giants with a minute 15 left in the game. Up by four as they take over at their own 20. What a day Leonard Williams has had. I mean, he's been camped out in the backfield throughout this game, and he's working against Brandon Knight. You can see him right here, and he just continues to play. And as Dalton is trying to buy some time, and he escapes to his left, there he is right there, and it just does not allow Dalton to get anything on the ball. Dalton doesn't want to take a sack. He's just trying to give his guys a shot, even though it's still just third down, but he knows he's got to get it in. And a good play by one of these young players I was talking about earlier, Xavier McKinney, a guy who they have a lot of high hopes for going forward. Dallas, with all three of their timeouts remaining, game will have a chance to get to the postseason if Washington loses tonight. And here's an interception that happened a moment ago for Xavier McKinney, the second-round pick, the rookie out of Alabama. He gets his first interception of the season, and it comes in what might be the back-breaking play of the ball game. Second down and five, and the Cowboys have two timeouts left. And what a smart play by McKinney, not trying to bring the ball to. Here it is. They got it done. Ball is out, however. Gallman fumbled. I think the Cowboys might have it. And this game hangs in the balance with this. The first down had been picked up, and it will stay with the Giants. That's wow. the indication from Brad Allen. Oh, now they switch. Brad Allen, the referee, was indicating it was Giants ball, and the official at the bottom of the pile says it's Cowboys ball, and they're going to have to talk about it. Gallman, once he gets through, if he just goes to the ground, it's game over. Oh, it just slips right out Blue of his... on the field is that the runner Blue was down in possession. It is Blue's ball. First down. They're keeping it with the Giants. Well, he wasn't down with possession. He wasn't. Unless they're saying he was down there with possession. After it was trapped under his leg. But, I mean, that's not even close. <laughs> Mike Pereira is going to have to try and put some Hard description to this. I mean, first of all, Mike, we had the officials. One was pointing one way, one was pointing the other. What are you seeing from your monitors back in L.A.? Well, the key to me, Joe, is that the umpire came down initially and signaled that the Giants had possessed the ball before it went into the scrum. So this is reviewable in replay. They can actually look to see if there's clear recovery actually before it gets into the scrum by Dallas. But in this case, since that ruling was made initially by the umpire, I don't think there's anything uh, here to fight, despite the fact that they come out signaling that it's the Dallas ball that I don't think they can overturn it. Yeah, at the again, at the bottom of the pile, at the end of pulling all the bodies off one another, those officials said it was Dallas's ball. Yeah, but you're going to see the ball pop up here in the middle of this scrum. And it's hard for me to imagine the goal, but there it is right there. I mean, the, the ball's not possessed by anybody. It's just hard for me to imagine that Goldman was able to get on that football based on his position of his body. I, I just can't imagine that he had it at any point at the bottom Humble, of that. The recovery by the offense is under review. And now they're going to look at it. But I, 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 if that's the ruling, I mean, how do they overturn it? You don't know right. who had it. That's the other piece, Mike, is that there has to be now a clear recovery. And once that ball went under all those bodies, again, the efficient Washington right on wild card weekend or to Dallas to or to New Jersey, control. whoever and, and wins and this game and depending on what happens have, with the Washington football team on Sunday night football. In. But the Bucks and, are going on know, the road and they will take on a sub-500 no NFC East champion. No prior to that. And by the time it switched hands and all that, you know, then 
you know, you never know really what happened. But since that original ruling on the field was a, the recovery by the Giants, I just do not see any way that they could put this ball in the hands of Dallas. I, I agree, and I, I think that's why I hesitated when we saw that last look at it because it did look like Goldman got his arms yeah. around the ball at the bottom of that pile and then maybe after that it came out and that's when Dallas had it. Of course Wayne Goldman and the offensive for the Giants they're down there on the field they don't know they're not seeing any of this and you talk about a lot of anxious moments. Here's a call. After review the ruling on the field stands it's first down New York charge timeout Dallas. He said that's a charge timeout because they did call timeout as the ball stays with the Giants. But the first down was picked up. So now Dallas has only one timeout left. And in essence, the Giants can run this clock out. Yeah, they just take a knee. Short of not getting the exchange. The clock would have restarted after they made that initial call of Goldman getting on the ball. So Dallas has to use the timeout. But if they get two clear and good exchanges from center to quarterback, that should be it. Well, the Giants will go home and uh, they'll be watching that Sunday night game and hoping for the right outcome and maybe their season will continue. It would continue if. Philadelphia wins at home over Washington. Time to stop the Cowboys early. Even though the Cowboys really put together a nice second half offensively, the Giants and Leonard Williams, their defensive end, good enough to win this game and give the Giants and their fans hope. But if Washington loses tonight, Joe Judge in his first year as the head coach of the New York Giants will take his team into the postseason, albeit with a 6-10 record.